What's up, wellies? I'm Dave Householder here with your daily dose of Bible encouragement, which I just love doing. I hope you will subscribe to this channel and uh, hit the thumbs up button and also the notifications bell so that you and I can be in touch every single day on the Word of God. I want to encourage you to get into the Word of God, and I would love to be, I'd love to have the honor of being your tour guide through the Bible. We are looking at Psalm number seven today, and Psalm seven has to do with slander. When people say bad things about us, either things that are untrue or spinning things that are true to our disadvantage, and it happens to us. And if you've accomplished anything in the world, in fact, the more you accomplish, the more people will slander you. David was a big time high achiever, the slayer of Goliath, the king of Israel, the conqueror of Jerusalem, and he made Jerusalem the capital, which it is to this day. Some fantastic things happened, and every king after him was measured as to whether or not uh, he was as good as David. So David was a high achiever, and that being the case, people slandered him. The farther up you go, the more people will backbite. Uh, if you're backbitten, truth is, it's because you're accomplishing something. Someone once said, nobody ever complains to you who is ahead of you, getting more done than you, because they're too busy. It's people who are jealous, people who aren't accomplishing as much as you, who are going to backbite against you. So if that's happening, it's uh, proof that you're getting something done, which isn't such a bad thing. But in Psalm 7, David is lamenting uh, about these people because they can do a lot of damage. There's never been anything less true than the phrase, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Words can ruin your reputation. Words of other people can, can ruin your reputation. Slander can ruin your reputation in no time. And it can be really, really scary. Everything you build up can be wiped out by the words of a few people, especially if people believe a lie about you. And David is realizing this, and he's pouring his heart out to the Lord. But on the way, he realizes that the Lord has protected him 100% of the time, and he looks forward to the protection of the Lord during this challenge and in the future. He writes beautifully at the end, for you, God, we'll see to it that every pit digger who works to trap and harm others will be trapped and harmed by his own treachery. But I will give all my thanks to you, Lord, for you make everything right in the end. I will sing my highest praise to the God of the highest place. And in Hebrew, Adonai Elyon, God most high. But I will give all my thanks to you, Lord for you make everything right in the end. I will sing my highest praise to the God of the highest place. Thanks and gratitude are the royal roads into God's presence. And if you're feeling far from God this Thanksgiving season, I would just invite you to generate a sense of gratefulness. At least count some blessings, as our mothers used to tell us. Count your blessings. And when you count your blessings, all of a sudden the presence of the Lord feels closer. And we start to sense his presence around us. That's my prayer for you this Thanksgiving season. And I love the phrase where he says, everything will be all right in the end. And I had one person, I can't remember who it was, I wish I could remember, who said to me once, everything will be all right in the end. If it's not all right, it's not the end. That's the good news for today, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.